Hi, hello children. How are you all? Welcome back to my class. Today in this class, we are going to start your first lesson of fifth standard maths from the part two. That is multiplication. Okay. So here the first chapter is multiplication. So children, already you have learned multiplication lesson in the fourth standard, right? So let's revise it little bit. So already you know that multiplication is the basic mathematical operation. It is right, and the multiplication is the repeated addition. It is right. So multiplication is repeated addition, right? And here you can see that the multiplicand into multiplier is equal to product. The number to be multiplied is called the multiplicand. Okay, and here the number which multiplies the given number is called the multiplier. And here the product. Product means it is the result after the multiplication. The result is called the Product, right? So here I'll give an example. Two into one is equal to two. Two ones are two. Here, two is a multiplicand. One is a multiplier, and two is the product. Okay. Next, the properties of multiplication. Let's see what are the basic properties of multiplication. The first one is if you multiply any number with zero. The answer is always a zero only. Okay, so the product of any number and zero is always zero. Okay, here you can see two examples: twelve into zero is equal to zero, eight into zero is equal to zero. If you want to take any other example, you can take. Let's take one more example: four into zero is equal to zero only. Okay, so. If any number is multiply with zero, the answer, the product will be zero only. Okay, so this is the first property. And the second property is if any number is multiply by one. Okay, if any of the number is multiply by one, the product will be the number itself. Okay, so the product of any number and one is always the number itself. Here you can see nine into one is equal to nine. Six into one is equal to six. We'll take one more. Seven into one is equal to seven. Okay, eight into one is equal to eight. So, if any number is multiply with one the answer will always be the number itself okay so this is a second property next the third property is the products remains the same when we interchange multiplicand and the multiplier okay so here you can see this is a multiplicand and this is a multiplier so the answer will be always remains the same only if you interchange the multiplicand and the multiplier here you can see 4 into 7 is equal to 28 4 7s are 28 if you interchange this okay here you can see so this is a Multiplicand and this is multiplier. First, next, what we will do here, we will write the multiplier and we will write the multiplicand. The answer is same here only, right? Seven fours are twenty-eight. Four sevens are twenty-eight. Seven fours are twenty-eight. Okay, so the product remains the same when we interchange the multiplicand and the multiplier. So these are the three properties of multiplication. Okay, children. Next, we are having the revision exercise. Means these are the exercises which you have done in the fourth standard. Only we have done it, right? If you have forgot or as you want to watch that video once again, you can get the link in my description box. Okay, and here we'll do any two from here. Okay, and remaining you only have to try to do it. So first one we'll take here. Thirty-five into zero. So here you can see there is a which property we have to apply. This property, the first property, right? If any number is multiply with zero, the answer will always be a zero only, right? So thirty-five into zero, zero. And here you can see the second one. 
164 into 1. If any number is multiplied with 1, the answer will be the number itself. So, it is a 164. Here, 100 into 0. Yes, it is 0 only. Here, 1 into 235. Yes, here, if you multiply any number with 1, the answer will be that number itself. So, 235. In the same way, you try to do this both. Fifth and sixth one. Okay. Now, come to the next page number 2. Here, second main, find the product of the following. So, children, already we have done this in the fourth standard. The multiplication of three digit, four digit number by two digit number. Only we have learnt how to multiply with the two digit only. Right. If you want to remind it once again, you can get the uh, link in my description box. Just go through it. Or else if you want me to do it once again, let me know in the comment section. Okay. And here also, so, solve the following problems. This is also we have done. Means these type of examples we have done. Okay. You can go through that and try to solve it by yourself. Okay. Next we will do with the here multiplication of a three digit number by another three digit numbers. Okay, so here multiplication of three digit, it may be four digit, it may be five digit by another three digit. This is uh, important here. Okay, whereas in the fourth hand we have done it with the only two, two digits. Here you can see 16, 31, 17 like that. But here in the fifth hand you have to multiply the dig given number by three digit numbers. Okay, that you are going to learn here. So here we will take one example. First one. Find the product of 156 and 267. Okay, we have to find the product of this example. Okay, let's see how to do it. Here I have written the same example 267 into 156. Okay, so you already know how to do the multiplication. Always we have to start with the number which is there in the unit place. Right. So here it is in the unit place and here it is 7 is the unit place. First we have to do this number. We have to multiply this number with all this whole number. Next we will go to the 10th place which is the 5th fine number which is in the 10th place. Okay. Then we have to multiply this number with this whole number. Next 1. Okay. In this way we have to goes on okay i will tell you how first we'll take the number six which is there in the unit place and here also we have to take the number seven which is there in the unit place okay so see here six sevens are how much six sevens are 42 right it is 42 here you can see it is 42 so now how we have to write this shall i write this 42 whole number here no right very good so what we have to do we have to write this 2 which is then the unit place here and this 4 will be carry over to the next place means to the 10th place right here that remaining 4 will carry over to the next place. So now okay we have done with this first number next come to the second 6 here 6 6 36 6 6 36 right here. 6, 6 are 36 plus 4 we have to include now that carry. Okay. Now 36 plus 4 it is 36 plus 4, 37, 38, 39, 40. It is 40. So 0 will write here and this 4 will carry over to the next place. Here to the 100 place. Right. Next 6, 2 za. 6 to the 12 plus carry 4. We have to add this carry here to the next number 4. Now 12 plus 4, 13, 14, 15, 16. Right. So we will write 16 here. Now here there is a no number means we have to write this whole number directly. No need to give the carry because here it is a no number. Right. Yes. Now what we have to do? Now we will go to the number which is there in the 10th place. Right. We have completed with this first number. Next 5. Okay. So now we have to multiply this 5 with this whole number 1 by 1. We have to start from unit. Right. Okay. Say first one here. 
five sevens are. Yes, five sevens are how much it is? Yes, five sevens are thirty-five. Right. So we'll write here thirty-five. Five sevens are thirty-five. So five will write here. Where have to write here? No, because so this number where we are multiplying. No, this number. So this multiplier it is in the tenth place. Here you can see. So we have to start from the tenth place only. So here what we have to write here? Here we have to write the plus because multiplication is the repeated addition. So we have to write the addition mark here sign. Okay. Next. So thirty five. So five I will write here. And this three will carry over to the next place. That is to the here. On six, that is three. Okay. Next, five six is how much? Five six is thirty. So five six is thirty. And here the carry is there, right? The three we have to add this carry also. That what we have done in the first one. Okay. Thirty plus three. How much it is? It is thirty three. So here. Three will write here, and again this three remaining three it will carry over to the next place. Next, five two is a five two is a ten, right? Five two is a ten plus here the carry three. How much it is? Ten plus three it is thirteen, right? So the three will write here. And here there is a no number. So what we have to do? Yes, we have to write the full number. That is thirteen. So I'll write thirteen here, right? Next, we have completed with the five also. Next, there is a one more number one, which is in the hundred place, right? So here, let's multiply. We have to multiply this with the whole number. This is whole number two hundred sixty-seven. Okay, so one seven is a seven. Where have tried the seven here? No, because this one is in the place of hundred. Means here we have to start from this is unit ten hundred. Yes, we have tried this answer here. One seven is a seven. So here what I have to write? Yes, I have to write the addition mark. Okay, next one six is a six. One two is a two. Right now we have finished with all our numbers. Here it is a no number. Right here it is a no multiplier. So now what I have to do? You have to add all these numbers. So we'll give it as a name as first row, second row, and the third row. Okay. Now you have to add the digits in these three rows. So how? So see, you know the addition, right? Yes. So we'll do the addition here. Two. Here no number is there, so means two. As it is, we'll write here. Here zero plus five. How much? It is five only. Here it is no number, so five. Next three plus sorry six plus three is how much? Nine plus seven. Nine plus seven is. Yes, sixteen. Right. So how we have to write the sixteen? Six will write here, and this one will carry over to the next place here. Here I will write. Okay. So next, one plus three, four. Four plus six, ten. Ten plus here carries. We have to add this carry. It is eleven. Right. So how we have to write the eleven? One here. This is eleven. Right. So One will write here. The another one will carry over to the next place. Next, one plus two. Here it is a no number, right? Means it will be considered as a zero. So one plus two, three. Three plus one carry four. So what is the answer here? Four. Yes. Forty one thousand six hundred fifty two. Right. Forty one thousand six hundred. Fifty-two, so forty-one thousand six hundred fifty-two is the answer. This is the product. Understood, children? 
So what is the answer here? Forty-one thousand six hundred and fifty-two. Right. So this is the answer. Hope you understood how to do the multiplication with three-digit number. Yes. So children, in the next class, we'll continue the same lesson with some other examples. So till then, take care. Bye bye. If you think this video is really useful to you, please share it, like it, and subscribe it. Okay.